So just to give you an example of what kinds of cases typically consultants work on. So there's a business growth problem, which means you're trying to say, how will the next leg of growth for the company come from, right? Uh, what, what kinds of areas should they focus on? Which kind of products should they double down on? Um, which markets should they go into next, right? So those are the business growth sort of problems. How do we fight off competition in order to grab more of the market share? Then there's business profitability. How do you do what you're doing today at a much better margin? which is again, a big, big problem that companies faced in the times of COVID because all of the fixed costs remained constant, but the sales were just not there, right? So I was working say with a media house uh, and the media house had uh, their largest uh, bit of revenues coming from their print section, which is publishing of newspapers. Now, since the newspapers were not being circulated at all uh, because of COVID, right? People were not accepting newspapers in house. Uh, there was no advertising revenues at all, which forms the backbone of the entire uh, organization. Now the revenues have been wiped out, but you can't just take away the reporters, right? You would still need either uh, reporting to go out in the digital domains for the same organization. So you will have like a Times of India website, you will have like a live mint newspaper, e-paper, right? All of those are still ongoing, but that required a huge amount of cost, but the corresponding revenues just didn't exist for that industry at that moment, right? So then it became a huge challenge now to figure out where will we get the profitability from? Or if we have to come back from COVID, how can we go back to our previous levels of profitability as soon as possible, right? Then there's a third, which is organization structure and leadership, where you are figuring out how, how is it best to allocate work at the leadership level and how many people at the leadership level should be there, right? So you make an organization structure for the CEO, CEO minus ones, CEO minus twos, and so on and so forth. So that entails the uh, how you will play out the entire strategy. How will you keep asking the right questions in the organization? How will you figure out the right people to put in those positions and roles? Right? How will you define the KPIs of the most important roles in the organization? So that's got to do with organization structure and leadership development. So once you hire people also, you'll have to train them to or upskill them to take up the new positions that they would have been put into. Then there's digital transformation, which is like a very, very hot topic these days. Uh, which could entail anywhere from process digitization for an organization, which means whatever they are doing today through a very, very manual process, you start doing through a much, much more digitized process, right? So today, for example, if there are some banks that are still working on a home loan processing through a very, very manual documentation process, how can you make that as digitized as possible where you just submit all of your documents online at a portal, right? So you've started, maybe some of you would have already observed uh, situations of eKYC, video KYC, some of those were, you know, warranted by the times that we were in, but even otherwise, some banks were already doing it previously and therefore felt it easier to transition to that mode. So there's then business continuity also. Now business continuity or RTS is the kind of situation that a lot, lot of companies uh, went through in the past year or are still going through. So what we call as RTS is a recovery and transformation service where you're trying to turn around a business that is almost on the decline or on the verge of uh, closing down, right? So you take that organization, you cut off all the flab and you try and optimize the organization to the extent that it is again a sustainable ongoing uh, going concern, right? So that's the idea on business continuity. Commercial and financial due diligence we'll deep dive into, uh, but that's uh, to do with uh, either valuing a potential target for a PE firm or figuring out whether the business of the, of the firm that they are targeting makes sense or not, right? Uh, is that business viable? Do they have good prospects and standing in the market? The last one is last one that I can talk about is like marketing and sales, um, which is to do with uh, figuring out the right marketing channels or taking the sales uh, efforts for the particular client to the next level, right? Uh, taking them through the digital marketing strategies, online play, all of that will be part of, part of marketing and sales related efforts. Um, and any of these clients, you know, could have uh, challenges on multiple fronts. Um, at any given point in time, and they could engage multiple consultants also. So like I've been in situations where uh, there was also a McKinsey, there was also a BCG, there's also a AT Kearney working for the same organization, but in different capacities and on different problems. Any questions, any ideas on what kinds of other cases have you heard about management consulting firms being involved with? So there's like business growth could also come by, you know, uh, organic and organic acquisitions, right? Uh, so that is also one part. So this is like a broad sort of category. I've left the last one 
for very weird kinds of problems also. So that sometimes management consultants solve for. Like I know for a fact, like we solved for a problem uh, at McKinsey trying to figure out the right auctioning method for an IPL team, uh, which was a very, very interesting and a first of its kind kind of a problem, right? In the first few seasons. Um, so that that's also very, very interesting, right? Uh, uh, and again, may not be directly categorized into any of these. Hello. Hey, uh, Alagar, I think you had a question. You've raised it. Yeah. yeah. Are you able to hear me? Yeah, I can. So where does operation um, strategy consulting falls in this one? Is it, is it, is it like a more like a specialist role or does it come under generalist? No, sure. So I think uh, there could be problems related to supply chain and value chain optimization, right? Uh, it could somewhat be, you know, categorized within the business profitability or a digital transformation sort of a problem, depending on uh, the kind of uh, thing you're looking at, right, within the operations strategy space. Um, but yes, I'm like this list that I put out is not exhaustive and uh, it could be inferred in different ways. Um, but yes, operations is also a core problem that or a core vertical that typically management consultants engage with. Yeah. 